Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of x over 2 square root of 2 over x equal to 4. Now, what if this cancels that? But that would be wrong, okay? So the first thing you do is to square both sides so that this will be gone with this one and then we have x over 2 square root of 2 over x to be equal to 4 times 4 4 times 4 and that will give 16 now this is not all we still need to remove this square root from here, right? And for us to do that, there will be need for us to square both sides again because of this same square root. And then from here now, x squared, okay, this is the same thing as x over 2, both squared, then multiply by square root of 2 over x, then this will be squared as well this is what this means and it is equal to 16 times 16. now x squared is going to be here over 2 squared which is 4 multiply by this and this will be gone and then we shall have 2 over x remember this is x and then the whole of this is equal to 256. From here now, what can we do? 2 will go there, 1, 2 will go here, and we shall have from 2. So this means that we are going to have from x squared over 2x to be equal to 256. Now from here, remember that this can also take away one of these. So if it does, then we'll be having um we'll be having x over two to be equal to two hundred and fifty-six. How did I get that? Remember here we have x times x, so this will cancel one of the x, then we'll have two under. Now to get the value of x we cross multiply so x will be 2 multiplied by 256 and then our x here will be equal to now let's go over here um 2 times 6 is going to be 6 and um, it's 2 of rather so write 2 carry 1 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 11 carry 1 2 times 2 4 plus 1 5 so this means that our x is equal to 512 okay but we'll check the answer now because this may not satisfy the equation right the original equation is x over 2 multiplied by square root of 2 over x being equal to 4 this is the original equation and now putting the value of x which is 512 I'm going to be having square root of 512 divided by 2 then multiply by square root of 2 over 512 now the question here is will this give us 4 on the right hand side let's keep working okay so we're going to have square root uh, 512 divided by 2 will give us 256 then we have square root of this um, 2 into 2 is 1 then 2 into 512 will still give us will still give us um, 256 right now let's continue do not find the square root of this yet you'll find the square root of the inner one right so this implies 
that we have square root of 256 multiplied by square root of 1 is 1 and then square root of 256 is 16 okay so from here let's continue we can now multiply this so that if we do that this implies that we are having 16 into this will give us another 16 right so we have square root of 16 and square root of 16 would definitely give us 4 and it is 4 that we had on the right hand side of the equation okay so this means that we are very correct to say x is equal to 512 thank you for watching